Hey, this is Don the Idea Guy, back again with another episode of the Big Yellow Sticky Podcast, where I give you kind of a director's commentary track to all the content that I post daily at BigYellowSticky.com. Today is episode 68, and the title of today's sticky is Changing Course. And the note reads, It takes bravery to change course in the middle of the stream. Here's the story behind the sticky. Before you start emailing me or leaving comments, I didn't get the phrase wrong, or at least I purposely got it wrong. It's a variation on an old idiom which goes, don't change horses midstream. And even that phrase has evolved from its original form from a 1864 speech by Abraham Lincoln, who was responding to pleas from the National Union League to become their presidential candidate. Lincoln phrased it as, it was best not to swap horses when crossing streams. That phrase has become verbal shorthand for advising against choosing new leaders during times of uncertainty. And while I have no problem coming up with angles which directly challenge that philosophy, I have a different theme in mind for today. My twist is about the option to change courses, not horses. I see too many people who seem to feel that there is wisdom in continuing a course of action or persisting with business strategies that are not producing results simply because of the time and resources which have already been invested in those decisions. And as long as I'm using old-timey phrases, what they can what they what they're doing can be considered as throwing good money after bad. It takes courage to take a hard look at something to which you've previously committed. It takes self-confidence to consider the fact you may have made an incorrect decision and be willing to make changes to adjust that course now. No matter how far you've been floating down this river or how calm the waters have been up until this point, you're encountering dangerous rapids now. You're seeing huge, sharp rocks jutting out of the once placid pools of clear water. Now, after considering these obstacles, it may still be a wise decision to stay the course. Abandoning ship simply because of some temporary turbulence is not what I'm advising. I am saying that it isn't weak or flip-flopping or waffling to consider evolution of environment and new data to make conscious, ongoing choices about your best options. Because while it probably makes sense to ride out some choppy waters, you got to keep your eye on the horizon for the occasional waterfall or tsunami. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Big Yellow Sticky Podcast. If you'd like to receive a free daily email alert every time new content is posted, just go to BigYellowSticky.com and click on the Get Sticky link. Once you confirm your email address, I'll start sending you an email that includes a graphic of that day's uh, post-it note, which is illustrated by me using Sharpie markers on a 3 by 3 yellow post-it note that I then publish with the world to see at BigYellowSticky.com. Your email will also include a link to the latest episode that is a companion audio track to that day's sticky. You'll get the story behind the stickies, just like the one you heard today. Thanks for listening to today's episode. I'll be back again tomorrow with a brand new one, and I hope you'll be here to hear it. Thanks.